Hello, it's Carrie here and I wanted to make you this fun little video to show you back in time to when I first launched the Members Club. And the reason I want to do this is because so many of you come to me asking how I built the Members Club, how much content do you need to launch with? How many masterclasses do you need to create? I know so many of you see what I've created and think that you need to create something like how the members club is today uh, with all of our masterclasses. And I feel like, you know, our members club is nearly seven years down the line from when I first launched it. And we have incredible masterclasses. We have worked with amazing experts like Amy Porterfield and Jada Selner and um, Selena Sue and Stu McLaren and all these incredible people, Gabrielle Bernstein, to create these phenomenal masterclasses that cover a really wide range of topics. And the website looks lovely it looks beautiful but i'm telling you something it didn't bloody look anything like it looks now back at the beginning <laughs> and i think that so often i mean i am just as guilty as this we all do it we end up comparing our chapter one to someone else's chapter 20 and then we get so overwhelmed with what we need to create and what we need to do it feels impossible to just get started today in the members club i was sat on a goal setting and planning workshop and i was asking everyone like what is your number one priority for may and so many people said they wanted to launch a membership site in May and you know get going with the membership site. Oh, right now I'm doing a lot around membership sites. Um, my amazing friend and mentor Stu McLaren has been in the middle of his free workshop series for building a membership site and every year he opens enrollment to his course Tribe which is currently open right now and so there's a lot of people within this community that are excited about building a membership site and have been part of like all the free action that are going on or even joining Tribe but I just feel like so many of us and so many of you out there are getting hung up on thinking that this needs to be perfect, that your membership site needs to be perfect, that you need to have tons of content in there and that, you know, it needs to look really beautiful. It doesn't, it really doesn't. So I wanted to take you behind the scenes and show you how mine looked when I started out, just to put into perspective how things evolve over time and you the goal for you if you want to build a membership site oh to be fair it could be anything it could be a course it could be an e-commerce store anything whatever it is like we all start somewhere and that the key is that we get going with it and it doesn't need to be perfect so with that said i'm going to show you the my little pr attempt at a pre-launch i'm going to show you the email that i sent when i first launched the members club i'm going to show you the first ever piece of content i created for the members club and what it looked like <laughs> um just in the hope that this makes you feel okay i'm good i can do this um okay so let me take you inside the first thing that i want to share with you is um this post I put out. Now, you have to bear in mind, this is on the existing FEA website. So it didn't look even this good back in 2013 when I put this out because the website didn't look that good back then. <laughs> um, so you have to bear that in mind. But this is the post I wrote. I wrote about becoming a founding member. And I said, we've been working on something very exciting lately, the Members Club. The Members Club is for women who want to achieve incredible things and build successful businesses and have fun along the way. And so I wrote this post um, I will link to it so you can go and check it out if you want. Um, and I put, um, so basically said what the opportunity was, said who this is for, and said we're nearly ready to go live with it. And so we'd like to invite a small group of people to become founding members. What does this mean? As a founding member, you will get early access to the members club. We've also got a present we want to post out to you. And we would love to organize a one-on-one -on -one Skype chat to get to know you more, find out what you think about the members club and see how we can help you more. You can ask any questions you've got too. If you would like to become a founding member, please pop your details details into the form below and we'll send over all the details. This is the beginning of something exciting and I can't wait to share it with you. So I just gave people the chance to be part of it from an early stage and get excited about it and this is something that all of us can do when we're about to launch anything whatsoever is create that excitement, get that connection going with a small group of people who are interested in what it is that you have to offer. So then once I had done that, I put that out there the next thing is, the first thing I launched with was something called 
the 30 days to program your mind for success. It was called my success month, my success bundle. Um, back then my I created a bundle of what I called a bundle of business love every month. And the first month was success month. I launched at the very end of November. So success month for, was for the whole of December. And then in January, I was gonna release a new bundle, which was gonna be like a kickstart the year bundle. Beyond that, I had no bloody clue what I was doing. <laughs> so I was just going for it. And I was not overthinking it because if I started to think about what my plan was, I got so overwhelmed and it made me procrastinate. So I just was decided to keep it really simple. So I had one piece of content that is how I launched. There wasn't anything else. And so I'll share this page with you too. So you can check it out. You can see the lovely launch video. I mean, it was back in the day and it's Hey everyone, it's Carrie here and I am so excited because the Members Club is officially live. I am so happy to be able to share that with you because over the past few months I've been working really, really hard on it. That makes me cringe, but whatever. Um, and I basically said, you know, what it was. I believe that in business and life, mindset and attitude are the most important things. You can have all the skills and talent in the world, but if you don't believe in yourself, if you constantly hold yourself back, if you focus on the worries and the doubts, the chances are that it's gonna be hard to succeed. I actually think I ended up writing this in my book too, word for word. <laughs> um, and so I kind of wrote about, you know, why this was such an important thing for me and why I love it and why I think everyone should really invest in programming themselves for success. And then I said, over the next 30 days, that's exactly what we're going to do. We've created the Program Your Mind for Success bundle. Anyway, the point is, this is what it looked like. The website looked different back then, but it's like joint access here. And this is what there was. So there was a daily planner. There was a success guide. There was affirmations printable, a checklist, a workbook a success visualization. So that's what the bundle consisted of. And it said this bundle is only available in the members club. When you join up, you will get instant access um, inside of our members area. And so that is all it was. And then on the 27th of November, 2013 at 3.09 PM, <laughs> I did not know, based, bearing in mind that the FVA audience is mainly from the United States of America, I had no idea that the next day, the Thursday, the November the 28th was Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I launched this the day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> I had no idea. I launched it to 18,748 recipients. The subject line was the members club is live. We had an open rate of 23%. We had a click through rate of 5.2%. Yeah, so it was amazing. We got like, over a thousand clicks through to the sales page that I was directing them to. And this is what my email said. Hey, first name, I'm so excited to share with you that the Members Club is officially live. I have loved every second of putting it together and I really hope you enjoy it. So let me tell you a little bit about what's involved in the Members Club. I will link to this as well. So you can see this in the blog post on the FBA website. But, um, but yeah, and it like says what it is and I've tried to create some nice graphics, but this is what the website looked like then. It was like success month and, um, and then you, yeah, you downloaded these little printables. This is it. This is how I launched the members club. Um, but I really wanted to show this to you so that you could see how simple it was when I got started and how far from perfection <laughs> it was. And I was really proud of what I'd, what I'd put together, don't get me wrong, and I, I did my absolute best to try and make it as good as I possibly could. But like, it wasn't that I had so much content planned out, I didn't have it all figured out, and it, I was terrified at the same time. And I just think sometimes you have to just go for it. Like if you have an idea or something you want to achieve or a, a dream to create success, you have to be willing to have the courage to just go for it and just see what happens. I think for me, my top pieces of advice for you are one, just get started. Just get started. Stop overthinking this. Stop trying to figure everything out. Stop trying to plan everything out. Just blummin take action and go for it. Um, the second thing that I would say is create visibility. You know, for all of us in business, we have to be able to create visibility around our businesses because if we don't, then how the heck are we gonna sell anything? You know, if you've got no one listening to you, no one paying attention to you, you've not built that no like, and trust factor in with anyone, then who on earth is gonna buy from you? Like you have to create that somehow. I had spent the previous practically two years building up my audience. I'm not suggesting that you need to spend two years building up your audience by any means, but 
I, I had bought, built up an email list of 18,000 people now. You don't need to build an email list of 18,000 people to have a successful membership site or a successful course launch or a successful product launch. But you do need to have an audience. You do need to have visibility. You need to have visibility either on social media, on an email list, traffic to your website, Somehow, some way, people need to know who you are, what your business is about, and they need to be getting to know you and connecting with you and building that know, like, and trust factor. They need to like you and trust you in order to buy from you. If you are not putting the effort in to do that right now, then it doesn't matter what you create. It was gonna be so hard to get it off the ground. So my number one piece of advice would be focus on creating visibility for yourself because I promise you, if you can do that and you can go all in with that, your future self is going to really thank you. <laughs> and like I said, you don't need a huge audience. I put out a uh, podcast episode recently with Michelle Raw. It's incredible. Check it out on the website. But she did, a, we dissected a launch that she just did. She made $16,000 in two weeks launching a $50 digital product. And she did it with an email list of 3,800 and an Instagram following of 2,000. So you don't have to create huge, huge numbers here to create a a lot, a lot of success. But what you do need is an engaged audience. It doesn't matter if you have 300 people, 3,000 people, 300,000 people. If you have an engaged audience, you can create success and you will be able to make money doing what you love. That is a fact. And so definitely take time to create uh, visibility. Number three is it doesn't need to be perfect. Like it really doesn't need to be perfect. You, you just need to show up and get going with it. And worry about making it look good as you go, worry about developing it as you go, but doesn't need to start off being incredible. Like make it the best you can possibly make it and leave it at that. And don't be afraid to put it out there and just to test it and see how does it get on. And that kind of leads into my fourth point of like, you've got to work with your audience. So work with them, collaborate with them, listen to them. Exactly like, for example, in this um, founding member, um, page, I was like saying, get let's get on a one-on-one -on -one Skype chat so that we I can get to know you more and I can find out what you think about the members club and see how I can help you more. Like you've got to do things like that. You have to be willing to reach out to your audience and have those one-on-one -on -one conversations and connect with your audience. Um, you need to be, like I've done so many surveys with my audience and with my community to get to know them and to get to understand what is it that they want? What would they love to see? How can I help and serve them more deeply? And when you work with them and it's a co-creation between you and your community, that's when you can create something truly beautiful and truly successful because you're listening and you're paying attention. And that means when you get started, it's even if you get started with one other person, one other client, one other member, one other customer of your course or whatever it is, reach out to that person and have a conversation with them, get to know them, get to understand them you know, use the opportunity to really connect and go deep. And if you can do that, you will create so much more success. And let's be honest, it's so much easier because then we don't have to come up with all the answers ourselves. <laughs> They're telling us the answers. So listen to them, give them the opportunity to speak up and then listen and go with the flow with it. So I hope this has been inspiring in some way, just to see like what it looked like for me at the beginning, because I do think, you know, we do get caught up in the social media and seeing what people have created when they're like so far down the line. And then we think, crap, that's where I need to be at to put anything out there. And the answer is we do not need to be there. We need to be exactly where we are right now. And all we need to do is the best we can do right now. And that is good enough. And we need to give ourselves permission to just show up as ourselves where we're at and go for it. it doesn't need to be perfect. It can be super simple. <laughs> And we can create so much success if we do it and just get started. That is literally how I got started, fumbling my way through this. Fumbling, I'm always fumbling, but I am willing to fumble because I I want to show up and create success. I want to live my best life. I want to see what is possible. And the only way I can see what is possible is if I give myself permission to fumble. So fumble and enjoy the imperfection and how liberating it is to just go for it um so yeah leave a comment and let me know what you think and also i'd love it if you just i don't know how but i don't know maybe tag me on instagram at female entrepreneur association or post in the facebook group if you're part of the members club and just take a screenshot like there's a 
there's a website called Wayback Machine. And if you go on the Wayback Machine, you can basically look at what your website looked like. So if you've been doing this for a few years and you, you've got like a few generations of your website, go back to like when you first started it and post a screenshot of what your website looked like originally and then tag me because I would love to see and I think it'd be great for everyone else to see. So if you tag me on Instagram or if you tag me in the group, we can all share them and we can all see and it'll be really cool. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it's inspired you to realize you just have to go for it. That is how we all create success. We have an idea and we just do it. So get out of your own way and go for it because you can create so much success. It is yours for the taking, so just take it. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you happen to not be on our email list, then definitely sign up because every week I will send you a new piece of content, a new podcast, a new interview, a video, um, something to really inspire and empower you to build a business doing what you love. So definitely subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.